There's currently 23 million people living with heart failure worldwide and with the increase in obesity and diabetes in the coming years, um, this is going to get much worse over the next few decades. Not only in countries such as the United States, but also in developing countries such as India and China. Uh, this really requires an innovative solution to the problem um, going into the future. I'm Dr James Hudson from the School of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Queensland and I run the Muscle Tissue Engineering Laboratory. So in our lab we uh, use human pluripotent stem cells to make uh, human cardiac cells and then we turn them into engineered tissues. And these tissues uh, beat rhythmically in our lab and in our culture dishes. Uh, during my postdoctoral career, um, we mainly use these to try and replace part of the damaged heart and restore the function. However, I also have now realised that we can use them as a model system to dissect the novel complicated biology of the heart and also use them to find new therapeutics for patients with heart disease. So we're working closely with industry collaborators um, and also have numerous projects in our lab to uh, look for new therapeutics for patients with heart failure to facilitate endogenous regeneration of the heart. So essentially the holy grail is to have a pill that a patient can take and their heart can regenerate itself.